There's a long line of artists in my family. I started drawing when I was a little kid and I could pick up a you know pencil and a brush and start doodling and as I got older I just kept kept with it. When I meet random people and they say, well, you know, what do you do for a living? I say, I paint contact lenses for, for film and television. And they go, somebody does that? I'm like, well, yeah, somebody has to. It was a complete fluke. I was working with a makeup artist that would occasionally go to set and put contact lenses in, which is called lens technician. I tried it out the first time I was hooked. It's a very small canvas, tiny, tiny canvas. So I have to use very fine, fine brushes, a few hairs, basically. It's a process. It takes a few hours, sometimes a few days, to complete, depending on what the design is. The corneal sides cover your pupil and your iris. The ones that cover the white of the eye, those are called scleral contact lenses. The reasons why we use scleral contact lenses is like, for instance, the Grinch, where the whole eye is just, you know, yellow. Another reason is bloodshot or a hemorrhage lens. Someone's been hit in the face. I worked on a few Johnny Depp films, Alice in Wonderland, Pirates of the Caribbean, and I've worked with Angelina Jolie for um, a couple of her shows, including Maleficent. Her makeup artist, Tony G, showed me a rock. <laughs> and it had all of these flecks of different colors in there, blues and greens and pinks. So basically I tried to incorporate all of those colors into that lens. There is competition. There's only a few of us, a handful, less than 10, I think. There's so many things I love about this job. I get to paint. I'm an artist. I get to paint for a living. To see them finish their makeup and put in the contact lenses, everything just comes together and it's the finishing touch, you know? It's the, the cherry on top. <laughs>